what's up so I got a, another video uh, for you guys um, another one of those weird things that's probably really easy on computer but nobody really has a solid answer for you on the Steam Deck so there is a way to play Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask as well as a couple other Zelda games uh, with 4K texture packs uh, with, I mean, beautiful user interface. Like, I mean, we're, we're, we're talking like upgraded, like UI, use of the Steam Decks, touchscreen, I mean, the icons look fantastic. <clears throat> and, of course, it's a 3DS emulator, so there, you're going to have to swap between two screens here and there. but Or you can just have the two screens on the same screen. However, it's 100% worth it, in my opinion, because this game looks fantastic. Now, there are a little micro stutters here and there. Um just here and there for the most part like 90% of everything is pretty good um, but you get pretty good battery life and all of that out of this um, and all the textures are just, psh, just they just pop um, so if you want to get this rolling I can show you it'll be pretty easy um, one of the things that I say are a requirement is that you got to have uh, Cairo Utilities installed as well as Steam ROM Manager installed. They simply just make things a, a non-nightmare, if you will. They make things significantly easier, especially if you're kind of new to this stuff. Uh, just kind of the Steam ROM Manager basically just makes everything just it puts everything on the steam deck for you and you won't have these shortcuts like this so if you do that and you install and you're like where the fuck is my citra you just go here and you type in the search bar and whatever you're looking for and then you can pin it here for ease of access um so i'm not going to show you guys where to get the games um however i will show you where to get the texture packs and where to install everything so if you have used Steam ROM Manager, it's, you know, it creates these folders for you. And this is where you'll put the ROMs for the games. Once you put them there, you should get these guys that pop up. If not, you can hit file and load file and find them yourself. Um, so getting the texture packs on the Steam Deck are, it's easy to get them on there. To get them running, however, is a completely different story, and I couldn't get it working for like weeks, and no one had an answer at all on the internet. So that's why I'm making this video, is to show people what that answer is, so you can play a beautiful looking game with a beautiful looking texture pack in the palm of your hands, and it's insanity. Um, so once you get the games installed, the first thing you're going to do is right click and you're going to want to hit this right here. Open custom texture location. Now, you're going to have a blank folder here. Um, I already have everything installed so this is all already here. So to get the custom texture pack I will link it in uh, the, the, the comment on the video. You're going to get to the, you're basically looking up Henry Henrico Magnifico texture packs and you're gonna get like this really odd looking website and you're like oh cool I could just download it right here it's not hundred and ten percent this case because once you get to it it just pulls up his patreon and it everyone says you can download it but you're like okay but where so it took it took me a while to figure out how to download this from this guy but essentially um, all of his updated texture packs require a subscription. You can get his old texture packs, which in my personal opinion, I haven't seen a single issue with. Um, you just have to do that by scrolling down, which is, I mean, a little annoying. So this right here is his latest one. So we're like, okay, well, we can't get the latest one, but you know, we can, I think, 
yeah this one right here so not one we can't download 171 unless we want to pay him five bucks which you're more than welcome to do so so we should be able to hit continue reading and kind of don't really care he just tells you all the different things that he's done so if you see a change in the 1.7.1 update that you're like well damn i'd i'd really like to have that and then says he's some about 60 fps but you have to do a lot of extra crazy stuff and don't worry about any of that stuff because you you'd have to have a even a, a very powerful piece of hardware to do all that with this is an old one of the newer versions okay so it says we can't download that version so let's uh i know that i have this pulled up this right here let's see what's this this is the majora's mask one this is what I said, like, you don't exactly, this guy doesn't make it easy to download his stuff, unfortunately. Like, at all. There we go. So, download it here. Um, so, I guess it was the, the, the one all the way at the top, and I was mistaken. And then the Majora's Mask one is just two posts below it. And it'll be right here. Download here. So, once you hit that you'll get something along these lines now you're you're gonna see two files when you finally find his download description there's a 1080p version and a 4k version so if you want to try the 4k version out you're more than welcome however with the steam deck being a handheld device i went ahead and played it safe and just went with the 1080p version i played majora's mask and ocarina of time with the 1080p texture packs um, with upscaling the resolution quite a bit and I've had no issues other than Majora's Mask having little micro stutters but Ocarina of Time runs like a no issues whatsoever so I can know I know for a fact these ones will treat you more than fine I'm gonna welcome to try these they do take up far more space though so I'll leave that decision up to you guys now when you finally do download them let's see custom texture we are they're gonna be somewhere right here now another confusing part oh maybe i didn't wait long enough uh -uh. Uh -huh. come on edge don't make me an idiot well never mind i am an idiot i just had to open it with a uh, arc or whatever it was um so once you see this right here this he has a bunch of different files for a bunch of different things um he does have instructions right here which is pretty killer um if they uh would work Hmm. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Well, let me. I forgot because there there wasn't exactly a, a tutorial for this, unfortunately. So, project restoration, I believe, is the overlays and. Uh, shading if I'm not mistaken or no 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 I am wrong I am wrong okay I'm sorry I had to do a little bit of a some digging to remember exactly how this worked because this this uh this installation folder has an exe and we can't use that on on the steam deck so once you have the the file downloaded you're gonna see a bunch of crazy stuff you're gonna ignore all of this um, we're gonna go to user load textures and then we're gonna be looking for the one with the files in it so this right here so open up the the texture pack user load 
textures and whatever one has all the pictures in it. Um, this this uh, answer wasn't exactly straightforward by the the guy himself because even when you pull up uh, his instructions, he just says, "Oh yeah, run the exe and call it a day." But when you can't run that, you and you know you're basically just kind of screwed so all these textures up in here are you're just gonna copy and paste it into your your citra load t custom textures so I know I can get a little sidetracked and explain things poorly sometimes so just to go from the top um, you download the file you go to lo uh, user load textures and in there within that uh, texture pack and now when when you have the game installed into Citra we right click on the game open custom texture location and you'll have a blank slate right here so you just drag all this copy put it all up in there and you now have your custom textures within uh, the game so that's not quite all of it because there's a couple other steps that we got to do now if this is your first time configuring the game and you're like, well, I want to play it for the first time and you haven't really messed with any of the settings, I can confirm that uh, this internal resolution right here, four times native, uh, works pretty good. I have stutterings here and there in Majora's Mask, but it works great. Then you can have your screen layout. So that's if you want just the big screen, the full to take up the whole thing, or if you want doubles, blah, 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 blah. And then you gotta hit the little arrow to maximize it because the menu is a little funky on here. Um, it's a little weird on Citra. Citra doesn't like uh, the Steam Deck at all, really. Um, now, the biggest thing is, is you're gonna wanna hit, make sure that this is checked on. Use custom textures as well as preload custom textures. And then don't do anything because you wanna minimize this and then go to general and maximize it and the reason why I say that is because since the window doesn't pop up correctly you're looking for this OK button to save the settings I didn't know this for like the longest time and no one knew what the hell I was talking about um, so you have to like maximize it, minimize it, go to a different section to get this to pop up. This is what saves enabling those custom texture settings because you can't just you can't just uh, you can't just close it and open it. Unfortunately, it doesn't it doesn't work that way. So now that you have that and you have let's see, open. Once you got all your custom textures loaded and you have that turned on, uh, you can pretty much go ahead and open up the game. Now, the same thing works for Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. So, um, and then, you know, this one right here is Majora's Mask. And you once you download the file for Ocarina of Time, it's same same exact process. So now I'll show you kind of what it looks like and don't freak out because it does take a hot minute to load um, especially if you tell it to preload the custom textures it will take a minute to load for sure but this is what it'll look like at the end of the day once you get everything set up oh and another thing is is you want to set up the shortcuts in the steam overlay to use the back paddle buttons to swap between uh, the screens. So to enter full screen um, and then of course to swap the screens and all that. So you'll hold this basically start button to enable the gamepad. Once you do that it'll enable the shortcuts that you have and I, ha I have the back pedals set up to swap between full screen and uh, the secondary screen. So once you get all that set up, um, you'll have basically beautiful textures and in the palm of your hands.
And I am recording with my phone, so there's definitely a lot more detail here to be seen for sure. But I'm glad this helps. I hope this helps people struggling to try to get it up and running because I know that it was a complete pain without anybody knowing how to do it on the Steam Deck yet.